I honestly think that women have a cry about more things than they should publicly. Like, I think feminism is getting taken out of control at the moment. Like, it's getting a bit ridiculous. Like, Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Alexander Grace with Red Pill Interviews. I'm here at Scarborough Beach in Western Australia. And today I'm going to be asking girls if they think it's shallow to judge men based on their success and wealth. In today's age, a lot of men are made to feel superficial and shallow because they judge a woman based on her appearance rather than her personality. The red pill community claims this is hypocritical because while men might superficially judge a woman as a sex object, women are just as likely to superficially judge a man as a success object, glossing over his personality and assigning him value based on his wealth and status. Any thoughts? I think it's a little bit true. I think that's probably true. I think everyone has a bit of superficial thoughts. Like that guy is rich or famous or like, oh, you, you know, maybe he's not cute, but it doesn't matter because he like makes a lot of money, right? Like that's what people like sugar daddies and stuff. <laughs> like, I think this is very common. It's rarely hidden in the community that girls judge men by their wealthiness, but it's seen quite a lot, maybe covered up a little bit. And girls really, you know, like to take advantage of that. So do you think it's okay to judge a man based on his wealth and status? No. I don't think it's okay, but I think people do it. I, don't, I think it happens, but I don't think it should happen. Yeah, I don't think it's okay to judge someone by uh, how much money he's making or not. I don't think it's a very nice thing to do because that's not really important at the end of the day. Are you personally attracted to like wealthy, high status men? Not really. No. No? No, no not at all. No, not really. No. No, definitely not. It's almost unattractive to me for, to be really wealthy and love yourself for that. I've never really come across them. <laughs> when you're describing a man you just met, it's like, oh, he's successful and he's, he earns a lot of money and things, so they're like teeth. Wealthy men do look quite sexy in like suits and, you know, rich cars and that's appealing. I mean, I guess it's like a plus, right? What do you think the appeal is of like a high status man who's very wealthy? I think a good life. Security, like not actually having to make their own money and you know they can sort of live off someone else. It's easy for them when they like doing shopping and stuff, they don't have to work hard. It would benefit her, like she could have more material objects or higher power or status, whatever. Some women aren't confident enough to go out there themselves and go do things for themselves, so they just rely on someone else to. You straight away see like money, you think, oh. They're going to give me presents, they're going to take me out, you know, I'm going to get spoiled. So why do you think in, like, society doesn't publicly acknowledge like a woman's preference for a man with lots of money? Yeah, I don't know, actually. That's quite a hard one. Probably because it shouldn't be like that. But I think we tend to focus more on what men are saying about women, not what women are saying about men. I mean, it's funny because us girls, we would all chat about it amongst ourselves. How do you think that you would feel if you were no longer judged based on your appearance, but based on how much money you made? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> um, I don't know, not, not good. Um, pretty shit, can I swear? <laughs> pretty shit. <laughs> I'm not very successful, so... <laughs> it depends what job I was in. <laughs> so I was earning a lot of money. <laughs> um, I think that would be pretty cool. Probably a lot more confident about myself, um, not just being judged on my appearance, but what I have to offer. I would feel really a lot of pressure, and that wouldn't be nice at all. So I wouldn't like to be in a position as a male, having to, you know, rise, be a businessman, work 24/7, and just kind of be judged by what I, what I do from as my job. Have you ever thought about what it would be like to be a man and be judged not on your personality, but based on how much money you have? Oh. <laughs> not being, you know, actually listened to about who you are and just being judged on one thing is pretty sucky. That would be pretty, like, difficult to, to take if that's, if that's all that someone wants you for. I never really considered this as, like, a, you know, I've never, what's the word? Empath empathize. I've, I've never empathized that situation, so... That's a really like, different concept for me to think about now. Yeah. Sometimes I think women can play a victim sometimes, um, especially in the media. I would overhear some girls completely talking about makeup or how great their ass looks in, this, in these pairs of jeans or whatever. And then they end up going for the equivalent of the man who slaps her in the face and 
you know, doesn't treat her very well and then she wonders why am I on my own or why can't I find a guy. There's lots of stuff going on about the whole feminist thing, but you don't hear about girls judging guys in that same way, but it definitely does happen. If they, if women want equality, I guess it, it's got to be the same for guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you have a question you'd like me to ask beautiful women that relates to the red pill, just let me know in the comments below. And also let us know what you thought of the responses the girls gave in this video. And I'll catch you next time.